Hello everyone, if you're new here, this is a series of videos where I talk about some Japanese trivia and nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of the episode of an anime. In this case, the fifth episode of Chainsaw Man. Enjoy! <laughs> If you were wondering what was on one of the papers that Makima gave Tenji, it's an application form to explain what they will do with the body of the bad devil. The info that I could get from it was that the devil looked like it was around 30 years old. The story of the anime takes place in the 90s. They will convert the body in energy to use as bait for other types of devil, and that it's the first division that will take care of this. And what is on the stem is Tokui Yonka, or Special Division. This is used to sign paper on the Shirushi mark. Denji君は何の話をしているの?初めて胸を揉んでみたら、大したことなかったって話です。Denji君、エッチなことはね、相手のことを理解すればするほど気持ちよくなれると、私は思うんだ。just a bit of nuance, Makima says etchi, and this can be interpreted in a more general sense for anything lewd. Bonus trivia, etchi is the Japanese pronunciation of the letter H that comes from the first letter of hentai, which in this context means sexual perversion or pervert. <laughs> For those that were wondering what the original line was, what Denji said was Daijoubui. This comes from mixing Daijoubu, which in this context would be something like old school, and the letter V. In Japan, the P sign is often viewed as showing the letter V or victory. A bit of nuance, when Himeno talks about the gun devil, she says Ju Yaro, this could kind of be interpreted as the gun bastard or something similar to that. I don't know if there was some intention behind that or not, but the word that Himeno used to describe the fish devil was Zako, to say that he was a nobody devil. And this word can also be interpreted more literally as small or random fish. This one is for people that are curious about Japanese expressions and their origin. Himeno use hitohada nugu that convey the meaning of helping out others. The more literal sense would be something like taking a layer off. Its origin comes from people undressing from the top part of their kimono to start doing manual labor. It then became a symbol of getting ready to help out someone. I think that the original line from Arai portrays him even more as someone pure by saying to Denji that he won't let him steal her lips. In this episode, we got introduced to a couple of new characters. I thought that I could quickly talk about their names. Japanese names can often contain meaning behind them, especially with fictional characters that are created with a specific personality or goal in mind. But a quick disclaimer, names doesn't always mean something, and kanji can have multiple meanings, so this is just my take on them for the fun of it. The name of the little brother of Aki is Taiyo. In the original subtitles, his name is not written in kanji, but Taiyo can mean son. Himeno is written with the characters for princess and planes. Arai is written as rough and well. For Kobeni, her name is not using any kanji, 
and is not a word, so I'm not sure if there's any meaning behind it. The only thing that I could think of is Kubin, Child, and Himson Rouge. Not sure if this is gonna be relevant, but we also saw the name of the hotel that they go to, and it's called Hotel Modin. This could be the word for a luxury and forest. That's it for this episode. If you like that type of videos and want more of them, you know what to do. I also have other series of videos similar to that for other animes if you want to check that out. But anyway, it's the end for this episode and I'll see you next week.